Clean your plate. It is a rule of moms everywhere, but the truth is food waste is a real problem. And today, volunteers scraped away buckets of unwanted food from students who seem to have some oblivious eating habits. Our Blair Shaper was on campus to find out how they're doing that. Christine Lashley, sustainability coordinator at MSU, is in charge of Weigh the Waste. She says her job is to reinforce smarter choices to students. Students are just coming in here like normal, filling their plate as much as they want, and wasting a lot of food. So the more that we're here reminding them, don't waste food, take smaller portions, eat all your food, um, it will help form those habits. Not only does Mississippi contribute to national food waste, but the state also has food deserts where produce and fresh vegetables are not available. Lashley says students should be aware of that. Where we do have those, don't waste them. And especially around the holidays where people are food insecure, food waste just contributes to that because we're producing all of this food and then it's just going in the landfill. And as a journalism major at MSU, Emma Moffitt says she understands the food crisis through published articles she's read. That's changed how she views excess or leftover food. In the past, I really haven't considered what I would do with it. I feel like I would just put that on the hands of other people and maybe even let it get thrown away. But this year, especially knowing more and more about the food crisis in Mississippi, I want to make sure to make a personal effort that that food can either go to people that I know in need or potentially, if it's canned goods, that they could go to a shelter of some sort. The giving spirit is a part of the holiday season, and MSU student Jasmine Daniels says big family meals could lead to being wasteful without realizing it. Usually if we have like family members that are done with those things, then we'll package it up for the next day. But it's really kind of, I guess, like a wasteful thing if we don't want to eat it the second or third day, then they throw it away. And Blair tells us in just three and a half hours earlier today, MSU collected over 180 pounds of food waste.